Fleetwood Town Chairman Andy Pilly has insisted he is not simply giving his old friend Joey Barton the job of head coach in a ploy for publicity and says his critics will soon be eating their words. The League One club announced on Wednesday that Barton would become their new boss as of June 2, the day after his ban for betting on football games comes to an end. Pilly said he believes Barton can become one of English football's best coaches and that the criticism aimed at him for the controversial appointment does not bother him. He's got all the ingredients to turn himself into a really top English coach. Pilly told Sportsmill, Joey can go on to be one of the best around. Everybody has made mistakes. The past is history, it's gone. We live life in the present and we plan for the future. This is not an appointment just to boost the profile of the club. This is not a box office, showbiz appointment. This is an appointment because I think Joey Barton has got everything it takes to be a top, top English football manager stroke head coach. He's got the energy, the drive, winning mentality, intelligent, great communication. I'm convinced people will look back at this appointment in the future and say, what a clever good appointment that was. Barton is currently serving a suspension from the Football Association for placing bets on 1,260 football matches over 10 years. His original 18-month ban was later cut to 13 months on appeal and will conclude on June 1. Pilly's appointment has split opinion, with Barton well known for his past controversies. They include him stubbing out a lit cigar in a youth player's eye and a jail sentence for assault. Asked if it bothers him that it looks like he has done a friend a favor and handed him a job. Pilly said, not at all. People are entitled to their opinions. One of the glories of football is people are allowed to draw their own conclusions. I would never jeopardize the future of my football club by appointing a mate as manager. I've got lots of mates but I wouldn't have the managers. This is an appointment which is absolutely in the best interest of the football club. I'm thick-skinned enough to get on with it. What happens now is Joey will not participate in any way until June 2 when his ban is over and he is okay to get stuck in.